Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm gonna try to do a let's play of 18 Wheels of Steel across America. This is a fairly old game, it came out probably about, I don't know, 04, 05 maybe, and I played it around that time. I had an, a Dell laptop, and it was it ran fairly well on the laptop, I remember. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, for some other reason, I either broke the CD or lost it or whatever. Anyway, I wound up buying the entire series uh, on Amazon maybe a couple of years ago. So, I want to try to replay it. Uh, we're going to start a new game. And I'm going to cut the video while I fix around with the settings and controls and whatnot. So that won't bore you to death. I'm playing with the Thrustmaster. Ferrari Red Legend steering wheel. So let's go to new game. Pick a player. So I'm going to cut all this just so uh, you won't be bored to death. And when we come back, we'll be ready to pick up a load. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, couldn't get my Thrustmaster wheel to work for whatever reason. So I'm just controlling it with mouse and keyboard. So. Here we are in the map screen. Uh, this is kind of worthless right now because I don't have any higher trucks. But uh, I'm driving this truck. It's a starter truck. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it because if I don't, I'm going to run out of gas real quick on any route. So the faster I upgrade it, the faster I can actually get to it without running out of gas. So I've got $10,000. Got my prestige, paint can, upgrades, driver's name, salary, so on and so on. So let's go ahead and upgrade my truck. I don't know if wheels even matter because there's only like one or two spots on the map that has snow, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I don't think it makes a difference. That's pretty good. So, got all that cleared away. I'm playing in free mode, so even though I have some competition, I don't really think it matters. So in this gameplay, because I'm playing in free mode, uh, my goal is to go to each city at least once. And then we'll stop this playthrough. That'll give you a good idea of what each city is and the road ways, the road ways and whatnot. So even with the upgraded starter truck, I believe my top speed will probably be like 50 plus, maybe 55 or 60, but not enough to get a stopping, I mean, get a speeding ticket or anything like that. So I'm starting off in New York and we'll make our way from there to all across the map. So 
All right, let's get going. So bring up the M for the map, and I can rotate my uh, camera views. I like playing in this view because you can go keep you in the lane, but I actually like this one, but it's hard to steer for me. It's hard to know what lane I'm in when I'm playing in this mode. So let's just take one of these companies, Digwitch, Angelo, Home and Gardens, and Fred Murray Mall. I'm gonna have to fix my mouse again. It's a little too twitchy. Well, let's see if I can see the lights. Yeah, I wish I had my wheel working. Hmm. I'm forgetting something. Fix my mirrors, I think that's good. I'm gonna try to obey the rules of the road as much as possible. So dig which may be empty. Yes, it is. There's always one empty depot in every city. Ah, man. And I'm not going to, whatever damage I make on the truck, I'm not going to fix. There's going to be one more challenge in the game. I'll only fix it when it's totally become unusable. Then I have to call 911 to come and tow me out. Go. Okay, well, I lied. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm in the wrong lane, so I'm gonna have to cheat. Uh, still took the wrong turn. I might switch back to first person mode once I get a better truck. Whoa, stop right on the road. So the way these trucks are, the AI is kind of bad. So you don't want to be right in front of them when they, if at all possible, because they'll stop right on the road. Okay, so New York to LA for 13. New York to Houston for eight. 
New York to Denver to 7 and Denver for 7 again so I don't want to drive all the way to LA just yet so Houston is alright I guess So give me a minute guys, let me write down where I'm going so I can scratch this off the list. I'm heading to Houston. That can be one of the cities I scratch off. So I won't go to Houston again in this playthrough. Alright, so let's see. Roadmap. I'm in here so I can Go down 95. Then get on 10. Let's see. No, I probably can't. There's no gas station all the way down 95. Man. So I either got to take a back road, either take 13, hit that gas station. Hmm. Could take this one, then go. Seventy. Yeah, I could just take seventy on down, then get on thirty five. 45, then right into Houston. Yeah. Okay, I'll just go to 70 West. All right. Okay, I think I got it. And I do have cruise, uh, cruise control in this game. And you can actually talk back to the other drivers. See where 70 is. Yeah, 70 West, okay. So, I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Not bad here where I'm at. It's funny how this game still holds up fairly well despite its age, you know. Uh, I know there's plenty of other trucking games out there with, you know, good graphics and all that kind of stuff, but this game is pretty cool. Let me turn my lights on. 
Now, even though I has police in this game, uh, okay, I got a way station coming up. Uh, they will get after you if they see you. Mainly, I think on the in the cities, I've hit a couple of cars by accident uh, in the city, and they flagged me down and gave me a ticket and whatnot. And they do have uh, speed traps on the main highways. So if you run on the, if you hit somebody, or uh, running on the other side of the road, they will get you. Whoa. Sorry. Stay on 70. So, I was playing truck driver on the Nintendo Switch. And that game is just a total letdown. So I pretty much... I'll hang that game up for a while until something else, till they fix it or whatever, map update or something. It's another gas station. I'm pretty good on gas, so, but I'll go ahead and stop by just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like. And they did something that as of March, They, they give you a damage meter you can, you can fix it up fix up your truck right here at the service station but there is some damage that they won't fix or vice versa if you call a uh, 911 there's only so much that they'll fix you still have to come through here and fix the remainder I never fixed I never banged up my truck that bad but that's in the instruction booklet with the game which we're, we're going to pass this because one of my challenges in the game is to hit every city once and to not fix up my truck. Let's see how far I can go, you know. I drive fairly carefully anyway, so. With the exception of my blinkers, I don't bother with that. So one thing I like about this game that truck driver does not do as of March 2021 is give every gas station a different price. I don't know if it's random or not, but every gas station gets a different price of gas, which I think is pretty cool. And I've asked the guys at Truck Driver to do that, and they won't, but yet they'll give you a bagpipe horn for your 18-wheeler. Yeah, a bagpipe horn. How dumb is that? But anyway, let's go on. Alrighty. So we're back on the road, trucking. And if you've watched my videos, if you're into watching me play Crisis, I will finish that game up sometime this year. I just, you know, it came out and I was really gung-ho to play it. Whoa, sorry guy. And uh, then I got hooked on Truck Driver for a while and that game disappointed me. So when I was in the mood for a good trucking game, so I dug out my old PC games and been playing these. And I like this game because you can haul to every, well not every state, but all across the country and you can build your own company by hiring your own drivers and stuff. I really like that idea. So 
So it's 4.30 in the morning right now. We're on our way to Houston, Texas with the $8,000 load. And if I wouldn't have upgraded my truck, I would have ran out of gas by now. Because a, a not upgraded, a non-upgraded truck is like the worst. Even if this truck is your starter truck, it's still pretty cool, but still has power issues, even when it's updated. And speed issues as well. As you can see, I'm barely going 45. Okay, now it's 50. And there's a truck right up ahead of us. And it's only going probably about 40 maybe. Probably 30 something. And I love this. You get to see 18 wheelers on the road like normal. And truck driver, you don't do that. And the game has been out for over a year. And they still don't have any, any uh, 18 wheelers in that game. You're the only trucker in that game as of right now, March 2021. That game is just a letdown on so many levels, it's not even funny. And I was so hyped for it when it came out. I know they don't want a full on sim, but you don't have to just go crazy and give somebody bagpipe horns on an 18 wheeler. That's just ridiculous. Okay, let me steady my map for a little while. Keep going on 70. There's an accident right there, which is normally just one lane, but we won't get that far. We'll turn off here on 35 South. So we're good. Just keep on 70. Hit a gas station right here. I might just pass it because I don't think I'll need it. Uh, no, I better go ahead and gas up there because that'd be the last gas station I hit on the way to Houston. I wish my wheel was working. I don't know what's wrong with it. And I had to change my resolution settings so I could actually see my uh, gauges and stuff. I might upgrade this or buy a new truck in this game and this file because my other file I'm still rocking the same truck. And I've upgraded, I believe, to the point, well, actually, I don't know if I've upgraded fully because I'm still missing like four or five uh, truck dealerships. And they have different trucks in different parts in there. So I'm not sure there's any more things I can upgrade or not. And there are like five or six, I think seven or eight truck dealerships you can find in the game. They're not random where you find them at. Go around me. 
Stop honking your horn. And there's a speed trap coming up. There he is. I like this game too because it's got a lot of old fashioned cars in it. I like that. Keep on seventy. No, 129. And that's pretty good. And I like to see the other cars will come in and gas up as well. I love that. Once again, it's something that truck driver doesn't have, which makes the world seem kind of lifeless, you know? You're the only trucker in their world. You're the only person that gasses up. I'm going to get on 35 South. No. So I think that's the only city that has the depots on the main highways that's coming through Kansas City. And yeah, it does rain in here, it does snow. I gotta figure out the perfect uh, position when I'm driving in first person, but it's pretty hard. 35 South, that's 29 South, no, we need 35.
Okay. You have to be very mindful of your speed when you're driving in traffic like this because these trucks, they will stop in front of you for no reason at all. Once this green car passes, I can get into that lane. turn off so it didn't do me any good to try to move switch lanes oh come on truck oh come on go We got a lot of old-fashioned cars in here. That's why I love this game a lot too. Pretty good with gas. All right. I'll try to get past this slow poke truck. We can make some time now. Luckily, there's no. Oh, come on, man. Really? A pile of traffic. Thankfully, there's no uh, no sleep log, so you don't have to worry about trying to find a place to stay for the night or at the end of your shift or whatever. Nor is there any time, well, the special cargo that pops up are on timed missions, but the regular missions aren't timed, which is pretty cool. Turn into 45. Right into Houston. And I believe there's a truck stop. It's truck dealership right here in Houston. I think there's one around Great Falls. One in Seattle. And I think around New York. And there's somewhere scattered, but I forgot where. All right, so just to see what our competitors are doing, not that it matters, let's see what they got going on. He's already done two cargoes, one, one. We all got zero stars, 19, 16, 21,000. And nobody has hired any of the drivers yet. And every Sunday, you'll get a, a weekly report saying how much you've made and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. 
So let's get back on the road. I gotta get used to driving in first person. Whoa! I don't know, aside from giving more prestige, I don't know how those tires help any. I think it says maybe a little bit more power or whatever, but not 100% sure. Hmm, goodness. I was running right into him. Anyone got a traffic report up ahead? No, I don't. Traffic is light. Traffic. Light traffic. I think this is the only 18 was a still game. That gives that pop up, and you'll see the the driver plus his truck and the background. And sometimes you can see your own truck passing by that guy, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know why they stopped putting that feature in there. In the later games, only the picture of the driver pops up, not anything else. And one thing I like about this game is there's no GPS, you know. There's no like no voice telling you turn here, turn there, you know, anything like that. You gotta map out your own way, which I think is pretty easy, I mean pretty cool. Makes the game a little bit more challenging than just somebody telling you go here, go there, you know. I think some of the earlier the, the later games get a bit more challenging in their road the road design, but I still like it. the fact that you can map out your own way. That's pretty cool. East 35. Just keep straight. Oh, forgot I haven't, wasn't doing this. You guys can hear it. I know I turned the volume down pretty low. So you can hear me, but hope you can hear the jukebox. And you can see I'm about at 56, maybe 55, my top speed. So those speed traps won't hurt me. Almost home. Pick up our $8,000 check. We'll be on our way to a different city. If you miss this, they'll really find you heavily. So, whoa, hit the wrong button there.
already. So you really got to go through these trucks, the way stations, and unless you're carrying a heavy, heavy cargo, then you have to dodge all the way stations, which can get pretty tricky around this area because there's a bunch of them. I think I once had a, on my other save file, I think I had to dodge the way stations from New York to Seattle, and it was pretty difficult. Once I finish this playthrough, I'll try to play some of the other games in this series. I like to cover all of them. Even the extreme games that I heard wasn't really that good, but I haven't really put too much time into those. Oh, there's a truck dealership in Houston. No, apparently it's not. It's a red light, dude. Hush. Okay, I am over the line, so my bad. Still had my parking brake on. And here we are. And you don't have to back the truck in like some of the later games. You can just pull it in, stop, and hit the detach button, and you're good. And we got 13,000. So let's go to the other depots and get our low for the next video let's try Fred Murray's mall oops sorry guys I know I broke my rule about obeying traffic laws but I was in the wrong lane again uh, Come on, dude, you can go. Well, I'm gonna tie up traffic if I don't move, so. Hopefully this depot was, has something in it. Yeah. Let's see. Cars for 10. Dallas for 2,000. Salt Lake City for five. And Seattle to six. So let's go to Atlanta.
this okay guys in the next video we'll take a run to Atlanta till next time